All right, welcome to day two. Look at you, you're already making progress. Doesn't it feel good? I got a brand new shirt. It's a new day. Let's talk about routing. All right, so here is the example Laravel project that we installed in the last episode. And actually, real quick, on that note, you can consume this course however you want. It goes without saying. Do whatever you want. But I would highly recommend grabbing your computer and working along with the video each step of the way. It really does make a massive difference when you have to type out uh, each character. Okay, so in that spirit, pull up your example project and open it in your editor of choice. Uh, Sublime Text, Visual Studio Code, PHP Storm, Vim, they're all good. It doesn't make a difference. All right, here we are. Now, I'm going to warn you, uh, right off the bat, this can feel a little overwhelming. There are so many files. Look at this. App, models, providers, bootstrap, resources, storage, test, vendor. Oh, my. Uh, it's a lot to take in. But like everything, you don't have to learn it all at once. Trust me, you don't have to learn it all at once. Uh, we will focus on one piece of the puzzle at a time. And then when we're done, you'll have a, a pretty solid understanding of the entire framework. I guarantee it. Okay, so where do we begin uh, with any project? Where do you begin? Well, why don't we start with the home page? So I'm going to switch over to the browser. Now, because we used herd in the last episode, I can visit example.test to view my project. But yeah, if you, if you chose something different, then you might need to manually boot up a server. And you can do that using Artisan. And let's just put a pin in that for now. We'll talk about it more in the future. But yeah, for now, just write these three words, PHP Artisan Serve, and that will boot up a local server to view your project. Okay, but anyways, yeah, I can see a bunch of cards here, links to the documentation, Laracas, Laravel News, and uh, the ecosystem as a whole. All right, so if I wanted to tweak something on this page, where would I go? All right, let's do that now. So the first stop on our journey is going to be this routes directory. Have a look at web. Now, one of my favorite things about Laravel is it's so clear. So even if you didn't understand what a route is, you could probably parse what's going on here. Let's have a look. Routes get forward slash. Well, that's typically the home page, right? When you get or visit that home page, then run this function. And it looks like the function returns a view called welcome. All right. And you know what? That's exactly what it does. So more specifically, we are declaring a route that listens for a get request. And a get request is just visiting a URL in the browser. In this case, listen for a request to the home page. If we instead were listening for a request to the about page, then I might do something like this. All right. So in response, if the user visits that page, trigger this function and the function will return a view called welcome. All right, so now the next thought is, well, where is the welcome view? Well, it's pretty clear. We're going to go into the resources directory, views, and sure enough, we see a file called welcome. And notice it's not welcome.php, it's welcome.blade.php. Once again, let's put a pin in that. Uh, but if you want a, a head start, Blade is Laravel's templating engine. It's just a layer on top of PHP that, that offers a few bells and whistles that you'll find uh, to be pretty useful. Okay, so if we have a look at this, this is the markup for that home page. So why don't we do this? I'm going to select everything within that body tag and replace it with hello world. Give it a refresh and it works. We're in business. Okay, so now think about what you've learned here. You've learned that you can visit the routes file, you can declare a route, and that route can return what we refer to as a view. And yeah, for now, again, keep it simple. A view is the markup and the template for what the user views. And it's a little more complex than that, but at this stage of your learning, that's good enough. All right, so why don't we do this? Let's declare a new route. So I'm gonna go back into route slash web. I'm gonna copy this and we'll do it again. This time, if the user visits slash about, then what do we do? Well, we have a couple choices. We could create a brand new file called about, or you could even return a simple string, about page. All right, let's come back and give it a shot. All right, example.test slash about. 
And there we go. We see about page. It works. Okay, so now I know what you're thinking. Well, when would I ever do that? Uh, you actually might be surprised. And further, in addition to returning a string, you could return an array. So this, uh, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, but in situations where you want to build an API of sorts, this would be one way to do it. Foo is bar. And if we come back and give this a refresh, and sure enough, our response was converted to JSON, which is really cool. Okay, but for now, we're not talking about APIs. Let's keep it really simple. So I'm going to return a view called about. Now, let's go into the views directory, and I'm gonna create a brand new file, but this time, let's forget about Blade. We'll talk about that shortly. For now, I'm simply going to call it about.php, and I will paste in a big chunk of HTML. So I might say about page, and I can say hello from the about page. All right, let's switch back, give it a shot, refresh, and there we go, we've rendered our view. Okay, so now we have a brand new Laravel project where we have declared two routes. One of them loads the home page, and that just says hello world for now, and another one loads the about page. Okay, so yeah, notice it wasn't that complicated. You're in and out, and that's the entire point of this course. At no point do I want you to feel overwhelmed at all. So yeah, baby steps are gonna take us all the way through uh, this initial 30-day course. So here's your homework. I want you to keep playing around with these routes. Why don't you create a brand new route called contact? And that contact route should load a view called contact. See if you can get that to work and then move on to day three. I'll see you then.